So a lot of students get tripped up on the concept of variable scope. Now, what do we mean by variable scope? Simply, it's where does the variable live? Where can we access it? So I left up this function from before, factorial, to sort of demonstrate this. When we write functions, the parameter, this parameter x, and any variables that we declare within the function, such as prod or num, will only be available within this function itself. So if I try, for instance, to print to print prod outside of the factorial function, notice I get an error. Name prod is not defined. This name, prod, that's on line 5, does not exist outside of the factorial function. Similarly, x will get the same error. x is not defined. Num will get the same error. Now, I could take this, I could take this, and I can move it within our factorial function. And what I'll see is that I can access num. And num is 5 at this point because it's the last value within this range between 2 and uh, 5 inclusive. So we can still access it there. Now, here's something that might be a little bit confusing. I'm going to make another variable called x, and I'm going to set it to 200. Now, if I print x, is it going to be 5? as it is here within the factorial function, because we're passing the argument is in, or is it going to be 200? I'm going to run this, and it is 200. Now, think about it this way. There's transients in this call to factorial. So we call factorial, we pass in a 5. 5 gets uh, processed through here. And then once factorial is done running, x is destroyed. However, we have another variable named x that exists in the larger environment. So we can almost say, well, we can say that x is global to this script. Now, I'm going to do something a little strange. I'm going to call this y. And I'm going to attempt to print y from within the factorial function function. So let's see if that works. And notice I'm also trying to print x down here. I'm going to go ahead and comment that out because it will error. And so notice that we do print 200. And this is due to factorial sort of living within our script. It lives within the larger environment. And the larger environment has something named y. Now, if I do this, y gets 50. And then down here, I'm going to print y. So notice I'm printing y here on line 14, and then I'm printing it again on line 20. If I run this, this first print is going to give us y is 50, right? So that's what we're seeing first. Then we get uh, this print from the factorial of 5, which is 120. And then we print y. But this y here on line 20 is accessing our declaration of y on line 4. So we can think of factorial as being inside the larger script. Therefore, it can access things that are outside of it, right? It can access things outside of it. But things outside of factorial Anything outside of factorial cannot access the variables or parameter that are within the factorial function.